The 3R93 knee joint is a monocentric knee joint with a load-dependent brake mechanism and an optional locking function. Thanks to its design, the 3R93 can be used both as a locking knee joint that is manually released by pulling the pull cable and also as a friction brake knee joint once the user's mobility has increased. The locking function is permanently activated when the prosthesis is delivered. Like conventional locking knee joints, it can be manually released with the pull cable when the user sits down. The alignment and adjustments are easily completed in the following steps. Bench alignment, static alignment, and dynamic trial fitting. For the correct bench alignment values, please refer to the displayed table. Looking at the frontal view of the knee, the alignment reference line runs through middle of the prosthetic foot, middle to outer edge of the knee, and middle of the socket. The alignment should now be adjusted solely by changes to plantar flexion, so that the alignment reference line runs about 35 millimeters anterior to the knee axis. Before fitting the user, please check the factory settings. The corresponding values can be found in the instructions for use. The integrated adjustable spring extension assist controls the pendulum movement of the prosthetic lower leg. The adjustment ring for the spring is set to level one at delivery. As you can see here, the locking function was disabled in advance due to the higher activity level of the patient. The sensitivity of the brake is set in such a way at the factory that it generally doesn't need to be adapted to the patient. The adjustment screw is set to level four, which means the highest brake sensitivity when the prosthesis is delivered. To get a first impression of the knee joint swing phase control, let the patient walk in the parallel bars with the factory setting. The brake tolerance is already optimally adjusted as well. However, you may need to change the brake tolerance later on. You can make this adjustment by using the adjustment wrench to turn the tension compensation screw slightly in either the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. You can tell that you have reached the right setting if there is no noticeable brake play when the prosthesis is loaded and the pendulum movement of the prosthetic lower leg is not impeded during the swing phase. The swing phase of the 3R93 is controlled mechanically. To initiate the swing phase, the user relieves the load on the prosthesis which deactivates the brake. The mechanical swing phase control of the 3R93 can be set to six levels by using the adjustment wrench to change the tension of the integrated spring extension assist. A spring tension that is too high, like the one shown here, means that the knee joint reaches the extension stop with too much force. The spring extension is reduced a bit once more so that the prosthetic knee joint is in a comfortable and completely extended position again when it is loaded. To permanently activate the lock on the joint, use a screwdriver to carefully remove the blue cover cap that is on the left side of the joint in the walking direction. Then move the knee joint to a fully extended position and use the adjustment wrench to unscrew the set screw. Finally, reattach the cover cap. The locking function is now permanently activated.